So the closest you can get to the latest version of AngularJS, the easier the migration to Angular, to modern Angular, will be. At a minimum, you should aim for AngularJS 1.5, since that version is the version where components, this feature called components, was first introduced. And uh, components is a really nice stepping stone, components in AngularJS is a really nice stepping stone to components in Angular. So that's the reason it was introduced in Angular 1.5, was to actually make the migration process to Angular, to modern Angular, much, much easier. So in this course, and what I recommend for you to do in your AngularJS project is to migrate to at least 1.5. But really, I just, if you can, I recommend just go moving to the latest version possible. So if you go to the AngularJS website, just let's take a look at what it is right now. So the latest version, the latest production uh, version is 1.6.6. So that's the version we're gonna move to in our test project. So if I now go into the package JSON, I'm already there, and you can see I'm using Angular 1.4, so using 1.4, version of angular js and i'm also using some dependent angular libraries angular animate and i believe i'm using yes angular resource and they're also on 1.4 so i'm actually just going to move them to 1.6.6 i'm just going to explicitly pin them to that version and then i'm just going to npm install so it installs those latest versions now this step might be much more complicated or even much more simpler than what I'm about to show you. It really depends on where you're starting from and where you're moving towards. If you're starting from a very, very, very old version of AngularJS, then you're gonna be hit with quite a few problems when moving to Angular 1.6 or, or whatever the, the version is when you're migrating. But you'll just have to deal with them as they come along. And, and by definition, because this is an old version of AngularJS and because you're migrating from a very old to a more modern version of Angular, there'll be lots and lots of information online if you Google it with other people who've hit the same problems because this isn't something that, this is something that people have been dealing with for quite a few years now. So there's lots of information online for you to research and, and find out if you get hit with problems. Now I've done this before, so I know that we're not gonna be hit with any problems, but just to show you, I'm gonna run now run npm run build can run our webpack build process it's going to pull all of that new angular 1.6 code together and it's going to compile it all down together into our uh, dist uh, bundle js file now if there were any problems it probably would have shown up here if there were kind of any dependent issues in the compile process it would have highlighted it here but really it probably only highlight it when we run our application so make sure you've got it running i'm making sure i've got my database, my server running, and my API server running, and my actual web server running. So now if I just go to my application, I'm just gonna hit refresh again. And yep, everything looks like it's still working. Let's double check and make sure we're running the right version of Angular. So if you go into the console, and in fact, you can just type Angular version, and yep, we're running 1.6.6. We are running the latest version of AngularJS. And I don't have any errors in my console, so I did not get any errors. You may get errors, and if you get errors, uh, the best thing to do is to Google it. So whatever error you get in the console, just put it into Google and search it. That's probably step number one. The second thing you can probably take a look at is if you go to the GitHub repository for AngularJS, not modern Angular, but AngularJS, and then if you go down here, just check out the changelog. So for every version of Angular, there'll be, there's, a, there's some information in the changelog about what actually happen in that version change for Angular. So we're using 1.6.6. So you can see here this from 1.6, the difference between 1.6.6 .6 and 1.5 are that these bugs were fixed and it added in these new features. Now the thing you're probably gonna be hit with are things called breaking changes. So we look, if you search for breaking, you can see here we've got breaking changes here. So here in one, this is version 1.6, yeah. So between one point what was 1.6, scroll down, oh wow, a lot here. 1.6 was a big change. Yeah, between, ah, well the release candidate two and the official 1.6, there were quite a few breaking changes, let me find it again. Uh, breaking changes, um, and the best thing to do is just to, let me scroll to the top, sorry. 
we find the breaking changes again. There we go. And the best thing to do is just have a read through the breaking changes and just double check whether your issue is not from the breaking changes. Another thing you can try is if you're moving from a very, very old version of Angular, let's say you're on 1.2, then only try change to 1.3 to begin with. And then you can narrow down the issues and perhaps only, only look for issues related to 1.2 to 1.3, then go from 1.3 to 1.4, 1.4 to 1.5. You can try that out as well. I'd actually say, first off, if you're not using a really old version of Angular, so let's say you're 1.3 plus, just try moving to 1.6.6 in one shot, see what happens, and then just deal with issues as you come along. Now, you can see I did not have any issues, so everything's all good. So this step is now over for me. I'm now going to move on to the next step.